everybody Mike here I am back at Davy Crockett campground Just spin around give you kind of a view I'm down here with the no bow 10.5 it's way over there I don't think you can see it I'm gonna kind of show you around I'm gonna nice uh, bathhouse here not too many people down here in this area over here, just two or three, along with myself. Got a camp store here. There's restrooms, actually nice. State park. Got uh, horseshoes. Some different games, checkers here. Inside the camp store, they got all kinds of things, treats, everything from marshmallows, whatever you may need. Yeah, it's nice around here. Let's walk down through here and show you some of the campers. stay on a tent camp off of my motorcycle we just added these restrooms pretty cool and um, there's actually Wi-Fi down in here believe it or not there's some sites here no um, no power no water on all of these but you can get to them you know right here get some water and power if you want it these down here are really nice because um, right on the the river you can listen to that there's some falls right through here. I'm not sure you can see that. They're camping back in there. And there's also um, a really neat trail. You go right down through here and up down across that bridge down there. Let's see it. It's an amphitheater. It's an overlook. And the homestead trail is down this way. It goes down through here and around. So yeah, right here's where I like to tent camp on the motorcycle. Set up right in here, shade. It's already cooler. And this is the roof around out now. So great place down here. I'm gonna head on back toward camp. This would be a neat spot right here. Good view of the river. You can see the falls better down there too. Uh, one dog was um, half beagle and half pug. We got a little pug. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Had a beagle tail on it, but the body looks like a pug. Neat. That's a cool little mini bagel. And back to the old Nobo. And the Forerunner Trail. I'm loving this Forerunner Trail and the Nobo. He said this is um, it's not to be my fifth night actually camping in it. This Batwing Ong is incredible. And that air conditioner is, that is incredible because it is hot out here. And it's close to 90 and humidity probably puts it up 94, 95. So I got a fan here out here, <clears throat> but um, yeah, you can go inside and it is just cool. I'm just going to relax this evening. I don't know if I'm going to get into anything at all. Kind of chill out here at, uh, at the camp. As you can see, I've got pretty much to myself. There's the folks down there and the family over there. Up here on this end, this is um, a lot of this inside here is 30 amp with water. Then around the outsides, there's um, uh, no power or water. Pretty. Up here on this side, so you can see the 
which it came with the rhino rack and the canoe rack which I would have much rather had bicycle rack because I don't canoe at least I don't right now so we've got the water we've got the surge protector and power Let's see it there water water pressure reducer on there and then you've got a water filter on love the spare that come with this same as the regular tires you can see there it's a 215-85-16 Cooper I'll put some rollers on it there to get it up you can hear the Dometic running up there it's on low and it's been there a while ago and it's just cool and even in this hot weather so. The medic fridge is working great. So I think I'm going to put together a little, um, little bit of dinner and uh, chill out here. And then taking off tomorrow, I'm going to pack up and head out. So, but it has been a hot day today. I'm telling you, really hot. Had to crawl inside the Nobo a couple of times to cool down. But it's been nice. Now it's uh, nice out here. Uh, sunset. So, gonna kind of chill out here and uh, maybe have a snack, Diet Coke, or something like that. I don't know. And um, get ready for bed after a while. Sun sets so late these days. I think it's almost 9 o'clock now here. I'm in East Tennessee, but yeah. It's been a good day. So, I guess I will see you in the morning when we pack up and um, ready to take off. This has just been good. It's always good to get away and relax chill out rest of mine be able to do some reading uh, you know just it just does me good to be able to get away even though this campground is close to our home it's it's probably 40 45 minutes from the house um, it's still good to, to get away and um, relax and think set your mind on other things and watch the squirrels run listen to the birds you can hear them hear that So, if you're thinking about camping, I'd highly recommend it. Well, it's morning. It's about uh, 9.40 and just got uh, packed up at the Nobo, set up, getting ready to pull out and head toward the house. Had a just a Incredible time, it's hot, you can see I'm sweating here this morning. It's gonna be another 90 plus humidity today. But uh, I'm gonna hit the road and um, get back to the house, back to the office, work to do. But I am refreshed. It's one of the great things about getting away for a day, two days, whatever it may be. And you can just kind of refresh and recoup. So, see you next time.